So we're going to try to be live on my phone. Hopefully you can hear me. Rhonda's coming in clutch with the Italian drip. Never mind that hair, we'll get that. What's up, JJ? Can you hear me okay? There's a lot of people filming in here today. We still have to do this last panel, so I thought I'd go live with you guys to show you that bit. So this is what, it will be 20 gallons. Mitch from Stonecoat and Kenny from RK3 are mixing up our last bucket. We tape the edges of the foam and then put a lip on top of it so that we could pull tape later. Bye, Clara. Yeah. I saw it. It's a lot of movement right now, but it's going to be brilliant. Nice tags on the wall, right? My love, Bean is feeling very not taken care of. What's up, what's up? I know, right? Isn't it a lot? We're going to tilt them around, make them blend in a little bit more. But it's going to go on this wall right here. That thing is going to land. He's going to land in it, I know it is. So, can you guys hear me okay? Is the feed okay? Is it glitchy at all? We're mixing up the colors right now, and then as soon as those are mixed, I'm going to pour them out with you guys right through here. This makes me want some like mint ice cream. Anyone else? Can't be just me. We're gonna have to put more browns in this one. So Lisa, the panels will be going up on this corner right here. You see Luke from Stone Coat filming. So it'll be covering all three of these walls right here. ZRK3 generally use foam boards. So we do use, well, we, I, me, us, use foam boards when we're going to do um, like shower panels. Anytime they're doing a wall, they'll recommend using a foam. Ma'am? Okay. Thank you, Christy. Bobo, you have to stay here because, okay, just right here. I'm going to go right there. Yeah. So, yeah, it's super sturdy, see? Yes, I have saran wrap shoes. Hold on, Bowie. Hey, B, can you do that over there next to Bowie so he doesn't jump off? Just hold on, Bubba. All right, here we go. Uh, are we doing? We're doing the bang. Yep. Okay, so we we need to. And what size 
side is this going to be on? This will be on this wall over here. We still need to add a little bit to that piece over there as well. You can use foam boards with resin. So what the prep was for these, you can see a little bit of the texture right here. That's a fiberglass mesh that was quick coated onto the pink foam boards and then a quick coat over it. And now we're using art coat because white. Hello, Sue. So the guys are just now wrapping up the last Yeah. I'm trying to be I'm trying to set you guys up so you can see what we're doing while we're doing it. So we use breakfast at Tiffany's from Just Resin. We use Peacock Green from Just Resin. We used Halo from Just Resin. Ugh. We used Diamond Dust from Stone Coat. Used almonds from Just Resin. Bronze and copper from Just Resin. Um, pearl from Color Passion. And base white from Color Passion. And Illumilite white guy. She's dropping in some diamond dust into the white guy. Hello, Yolanda in Nova Scotia. We love you guys. Thank you for watching. Nova Scotia. All right, so we need some. This is the white. Keep your stuff clean when you're working with epoxy. Sorry. Minus that. Keep it clean. So, Rhonda, if it's going on a wall, you recommend using foam, yeah? Yeah, yeah for sure. You're gonna do a wall, just foam. You can on the back side if you need to, if you, uh, if you need to screw it to the wall. If, uh, if not, then you can just use silicone and then it would be stuck forever. But if you're gonna mm -hmm. hang, hang it, it, you can use wood. Um, use wood and hang it. Do we have more white? Okay, yeah, fill this bucket up with white. Uh, I need pearl. Uh, we need, oh, pearl, you'll fill that one up with pearl. Oh, also Pearl from Stone Goat. And then this one is Halo Diamond Dust. And then some Pearl. Dude, all this is sticky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my pleasure, Yolanda. Derp, derp, out of that. It depends on how much more diamond dust you want. Um, I need to grab some more diamond dust. Um, For in here? Probably not very much. 2,600 ounces, baby. Um, can you give me a favor? That'd be good. Jeff, walk around the corner and look on my wall and bring me, like, two more bags of diamond dust. Walk around to the shipping. I'm watching them. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were big shit. I think we stop here, huh? Before we mix. Yeah. We're mixing one more gallon. All right. Yeah. Um, I think we have, we have none in the... In the jar? There's that's in that's the jar. been gone. Oh, I don't know. So you guys, it's the calm before the poor storm. It's gonna get really real in a yeah, minute. Yeah, it's just one more bag, and the metallic will be good. We're gonna dirty pour it all up in here. Huh? A baggie, yeah. Just one, I think, will work. Multicolored glitter there. 
beautiful chaos. It is beautiful chaos. Look how chaosy we are. I don't know if you guys want the deets on our new shoes. That's right. Oh, she wanted diamond dust. If you guys don't know, um, we're going to release our new shoe line very soon. Rhonda and I are already sporting it. And Shan. Hi, Ann. Thank you so much, Marcy. Bow, 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 bow. We really appreciate it. If you guys don't know, every dollar that we bring into the channel goes right back into the channel. These are uh, Air Saran or um, Press and Yeezys. Do I have these shoes in size eight? I bet we could find some in size eight. Right, Rhonda? I'm going to have mine on the, with red on the bottom. Or Saran Yeezys. That's right. Are we about to dirty pour this up? Sue, so I just got shipping confirmation from Color Obsession, actually, so I should have it super soon. All right. We're using each the total bottle, so we're getting it all out, so we have the proper uh, mixing. All right, here we go. We're going to have the... So we'll just do the whites? No, wait. No, what are we doing now? We're doing, we're doing a vein. full, yeah, full okay, vein. So we're gonna, so, yeah, so we'll be doing, uh, yeah, we'll be doing the, uh, and the, yeah, we'll be doing the turquoises. The turquoises are getting thick because we've been using them since the first one. Yeah. <laughs> we've been using them since this pour, so no, I it's been, come on. We've been at this since nine o'clock. Actually, we started pouring it at 10. At 10? 10. Yeah, but well, we started the prep and all that at 9, yes. Yeah, so that teals have been good since 10 o'clock when we mixed them up, and it's still fluid. That is Stone Coat Art K. It gives you a long, long walking time. I think it's going to be beautiful, too. Friendship. That's friendship right there. So we're also putting some clear spray paint in between the layers. Obviously, if we weren't talking to you guys, we would be recommending having a respirator on. So be advised. Take your own health into your own hands. And we would have the respirator on because of the spray paint, not because of our epoxy. Our epoxy is zero DLC. And it's very, very, very safe. We would we'll recommend that you still be involved in the light and then to lay the area. That's not a good idea. That's a lot right there. I got you some white if you need. Do you like ice cream, Bowie? 
more friendship. <laughs> right? Isn't that a great color? People are like, I aspire to have that kind of friendship. How you exactly wouldn't spell green? That's how you would have spelled green. I know. I know. I know. I know. Hey, can you get that little bit right there? No. Just wipe it off on this. Come on. So we got a little hint of mud. Little sound sound. Just a little drippy drip. Boy. Another one. Don't look. No eye contact, Rhonda. I need to do this to separate my art zone and my office zone. You could do it. You could make one of those like folding wall things. What is this spray paint for? It's just going to give a different effect. It'll make, I'll show you when we pour it out what it's doing. Um, the brown color is beautiful. It is almond from just resin. And if it's right next to white, it looks like that. Not the butts, but what's in between the butts. Anyways, that brown. Anyways. Yeah. I think we need that to flood the outside. She might be. All right, so what are we going to do? I guess we're going to vein. You're going to vein out. Are right, you guys ready for some application? Are you guys ready for this? Which way are you going? That way? Yeah, I'm going to go one way. Uh, go the other way. Hey, wait. Somebody grab this right here. We got a hair. <laughs> And making it worse. All right, ready? Ready? Here we go. That's our main decor vein, and now we're going to fill in it. So marbly. I think we should pour like the white mix through the middle. Through the middle. Yeah. Hi, baby. You feel better now that you're not left out? Yeah. Mitch is over there torching our first one. Nope. I, hope not get Third my one. Backside. I got your whole backside. My whole backside? The whole one. Okay. You're gonna top it over or you gonna or top it over over there. Is that making a difference? You having fun? What makes it a difference? That one. It made me feel bad. Okay. Then it is an absolute make it a difference an maker. Difference. Don't forget when you do this that you got to have some grease layer, which is just clear. That just helps your dirty pour or exotic pour to move more easily over the surface. We'll just squeegee that around. Same on this side. Tomorrow, 
about seven or eight hours. Now we have squeegee on a stick for all your squeegee needs. I feel like I'm doing a floor for real. Just a super thin skim coat. What's up, Trisha? Will be enough to help your color coat move over the surface. Also, don't judge my shoes. I made them myself. I know Yeezy's going to take my design, but it's whatever. Then later, we're going to go wash all this epoxy off in a river. At least that's the plan. I think we got it on this side. I'm trying to take some over here to fill this gap. Yeah. I'm going to use the mat. And the reason we're going to do the mat you is and we're going to mat you to see it. That's going to be great. And we got it propped up on some this. That's all we did was skim coat. Anywhere that's already been resinal, though, it doesn't have to be like a big blob like this. It can be this little super thin bit. And that texture is from using um, fiber mesh just to give it some more rigidity and durability. Why do we need to put some more clear on your other one over there? Yeah. Well, there's a whole bucket of clear up there, just so you know. What's up, Lisa? You can cover your orange peel texture walls with this. Absolutely. The clear? Yeah. Do you want to pour some clear into there? Or? You need some browns. I'll I'll mix one up over here. You guys, I just picked up a whole drip with my new shoes. Okay. I thought I was gonna make Rondo. No, it's not gonna be possible. Great question. Is it possible for you to hold this for just a minute? I gotta make a dirty pour real quick. YouTube. It'll just be real quick, I promise. I don't know, what's up, Insta? How's it looking, y'all? Hopefully it's not too pixelated. Uh, if you guys are having trouble seeing this video, uh, you can go over on our YouTube channel. Art is still there. And I'm pretty sure it's a little bit clearer. So, I have really bad at it. Okay, got the first one. Making an opaque white. In theory, it's going to be opaque, anyways. It's still choppy. I'm almost done. There is. 
I'm trying to make some white without having to go get more white. Metallic. So I'm going to load it with diamond dust. Thank you. Hey, how are you? Good to see you guys joining us in this chaotic mess, creative mess. I'm making you a small with browns oh, for that one cup for over there. Perfect. We are waiting on a few administrative decisions before we can say yay or nay. Hopefully, we will know something by the end of next week, whether we're going to be able to move forward with that or not. So uh, hopefully, y'all guys keep your fingers crossed, because I'm telling you, if we go across the country, it's going to be epic. It's going to be fire. It's going to be lit. I'm not even capping, or however they say. <laughs> Do you want to follow Rhonda on the that dairy pour? The chocolate pour? I'm just saying, there was no browns in that before. Yes. You having a pep talk? Are you leaving this dry for a reason? It's a I had to. I got it. Needed a breakup. All right, we got to do this outside right, side. So this is gonna make sure we all take your shoes off before you go into the house. <laughs> I think so. This we're going to start doing the white, we're going to leave out the greens. Yep. This is going to be the white. I'm trying to. Probably wouldn't hurt to have one more gallon. Probably wouldn't hurt to have one more gallon mixed. 
Do you want this bucket to mix? Oh, you got a bucket. So grab me a white. Uh, what do you mix it up? This guy. So this one is diamond dust. I need to fill these back up, though, right? A whole another one. We're we're doing mostly white, yeah. So I would imagine. Oh, in the way. I don't know why we got to bring in. That's business. So, guys, pro tip if you were pre wet your paper towels with alcohol, when you grab a hold of them, it's a very easy way to stack them and then just have them ready to grab. That way you can kind of keep your area clean. You won't close up all your bottles. Pro chirp. All right. We got people hanging out watching or do we have a, okay. Can we put it in? Mm -hmm. one? Yep. That's good. I'm going to go wash epoxy off in the river. Which one's this one? Let's see your second white. You can just take it out. I don't need it. Oh. There are you guys. Bye. I'm glad Jeff reminded me that people can only hear what I you? say. <laughs> so I'm not like, look at that lady with the white hair. <laughs> what a fraud. You know, the white so hair lady scammy. that scams everybody. Yeah. JK, yeah. she doesn't yeah. really, for real, you yeah. guys. <gasps> Thank you. I usually do this with a wedding band <laughs> Go ahead. on. Go ahead and do that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Right. I can't imagine We've what they got a little pearl, so that's just I think, pearl. yeah, I would just let got that be. There. What's this one? Halo? It's your diamond dust good. halo. We're going to need more for the white right. metallic. Those two boys are having too good of a time. This is going to be epic. I don't know what they're talking about. White, 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 white. Oh no, we already have it. I just need a popsicle. So we'll be good. Only intended for immature audiences. Intended for immature audiences only. Oh, just a warning. Intended for immature audiences only. <laughs> not, not intended for kids. Is that what it is? Actually, we just include them. <laughs> this is it. The last of the Mohicans. The final bouquet. So, pro tip, put your hair back. <laughs>
Yes. You don't have anything in it right now. You do have glitter on your face, but there's no resin. All right. Last bucket, guys. Final big cat. Last night we were like, we could do this in like an hour. I, for the record, I said two and a half. We're fully packed. We started prep at 9 a.m. We started mixing resin at 10 a.m. And now it is almost 1.30. And this has been mixed since 10 a.m. And it's still fluid. Fully usable. My camera people have like full up close and personal of the mix. Yep. It's probably got some diamond dust in there. Is that a cat on the table next to you? Rhonda, is this person, Miss Sue DeGraw said, is that a cat on the table next to you? I try to avoid as much hair as possible when doing resin latte face. So, yes. Okay, so that's not a cat. That's Bowie. That's a Bowie. And this is our color coat. And so, obviously, we've got a lot of people walking around and everything. So, anything that happens to land in our... Uh, epoxy, we obviously will pick out what we can see, but we are going to be able to sand this in the morning and apply the ultimate top coat. So any of those little hairs that get in, we'll be able to uh, address and get those out. Yeah, you won't be able to see any hair that lands in it. When we use the UTC, it dries in a couple hours and we can baby it for those couple hours. We've got vents open and moving, these vents open and moving. So there's a lot of air moving anyway. So, yeah. It's true that there would be hair, but Bowie actually only sheds twice a year. For sure, if you're doing this at home, Try to keep your animals away. As soon as we pour this, we're going to take all the tape so that we're not walking in. So as soon as we pour this other. All right. After we get this last bucket laid down, we're going to start pulling this tape. Yeah, right there. So that's probably one of my hairs and not even a Bowie hair. Got him. I love all this like fudge fill. No, it's because the paste sticks to itself. Whereas a powder, yeah, it's because it's buoyant. Mm -hmm. So if any of you guys have any questions, I'm happy to help. Can you go back through and read some of the messages? Um, I got the cat one. Taking it all in. I don't know why we got to throw the M word at me. What's up, Happy? Yeah, we're making wall panels for this wall right here. 
Donna, I prefer stone coat art coat unless I'm doing oceans and then I use uh, just resin. You should totally move to Texas, Lisa, but you're in an also a really good um, state. You're in Alabama because you're all tied. So yeah, Donna, we're using art coat on this from Stone Coat Countertop because of the majority white that we have going on. Do you know will Diamond Coat be back in stock in your shop? It's on order. I'll have it in soon. It takes a little time to get that in from Australia, but I'm scaling up my orders. If any of your followers use the Ultimate Top Coat in gloss, I know that it's been hard to get, but I just got 400 bottles delivered today. So it will be available on my website in the morning. So basically when you can't find it, it's because Rhonda has it. Well, I give it. I make it available for you guys. Also, we need free shipping. And same day shipping if you order before. If you order before noon, you will get same day shipping and she does free shipping over $100. I would give you guys a discount code, but she doesn't have one for my people. <laughs> what? I said I would give you guys a discount code, but she doesn't have one for my people. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It is new. Watch. How that was? Um, how can, how I can a hold of you talk about some art stuff? Donna, um, shoot me an email or a text. Is Vamp in this in the room? Probably not. You guys saw it. B, I got it. He made it into Kenny's mouth. Okay, so. Uh -uh, Bowie. No, 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 no. Lay down. That's good boy. Um, I'm happy to talk to you guys about anything. Shoot me an email. Uh, JJ just put. So I was trying to just not look, not look fast. Well, you're not doing it good. You're not doing it good. So if you shoot me an email there, uh, Miss Donna, I'm happy to answer any questions you have. I have friends that help me to remember to answer emails now, so I'm really good about it. We're getting dirty right now. That's good boy, Bobo. Uh, is there a bulk buy pricing for the uh, box? There is. If you will email me. I will send you that information and I can actually drop ship it to you. And uh, you can email me at Rhonda at rk3designs.com. It's true. If you guys need bulk purchases, shoot an email. It's going to be amazing. We're going to get that glass UTC unlocked. She did. We're going to apply this last two gallons. And then we're going to walk out of the door and shut it and worry about it tomorrow. In that depth. Wow. Yeah, guys, sometimes the prettiest part is the bucket. It's amazing. That's a dirty poor struggle that everybody has. Have you guys checked out my very limited edition um, air mummies? Yeah, it's going to be a great pour. I've stayed up for two nights now waiting for you to be live. Oh, goodness, Donna. I'm so sorry. Um, 
you can always reach me through the website as well. I have a, a text line, like a direct message. I, and then as long as my hands aren't sticky, I get back to you as soon as possible. Does Rhonda ever cook? No, this no. is about as much baking as she she does. The only thing I cook is when the epoxy gets hot in the bucket. Showing off the saran wrap of ultralight. These are the saran ultralights. Um, I'll make a mean bowl of cereal, though. All right. Alrighty. Are you doing the same? I'm glad you're doing this now because I'm down to 10%. It's gonna be lovely. Look at that. It looks like opal. And all we're doing is layering out color. Rhonda, this could be a recipe all on its own. Yep, we can stop right here. But we are gonna go to the next level. Level up. Rhonda can dang sure throw a phone, though. Yeah, she can. Are you sneak up on Rhonda? It's flying. It looks like she's going to need more over there, too, Rhonda. Everybody got sticky feet now. As per use, right? You want me to hand blend this? Yeah. Oh yeah, there's enough clear on here that it'll it'll move. We're just making sure that there's no surface tension in these areas. I love watching you guys do your artwork. If I hadn't started watching you and Jeff, I wouldn't have started myself. So thank you. Uh -huh. I love that. I love hearing your guys' stories. Always feel free to message us your origin stories. There's no way we're going to have to mix more resin. Yeah? No? Yeah? We're going to tilt this one. Let me pour some of this in there. Here's some of this. No, knock over it. It's right by your toe. What do we got left? Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. There's some white left. There's some white too. Just break in that surface tension. That'll fill in. It'll self level all on its own. I still want to tilt all of these. Yeah. 
I don't like that squiggle, so I'm just gonna make it a line like this. Yeah, that'll fill in. No. A small panel's filled. All right, everybody stand back. Let me get out of my way. Come on, Bowie. Okay. There's a bear spot over there. She's hoping it'll roll over. I think we're good. So, you guys. Yeah, it'd be a front side. It is a serious torch. That's a grown, that's a big boy torch. So. Ron is going to add some white veins. You filled it. You did. I did? Yeah. When I torched it? Mm -hmm. They're beautiful. Are they tabletops? For Robin, they are not. They're going to be walls. They're going to go up on these areas right here. We can move the whole thing down. Yeah, we can speed it over. Is, is there surface tension there? It's just clear. It's not surface tension. How you? How will you adhere these to the wall? We're gonna silicone them all the way to this wall. Yeah. It dispersed. You can't even see it anymore. Yeah. Team yeah. Sad Panda. Can we like lift it up and put another piece of plastic just under it? Because you have that whole strip right there. Sorry, you guys, we are problem solving live. Dual purpose torch resin walls. Purchase confirmed. Above it. So Rhonda's Italian dripping all through here. The river will wash it out. So you can see kind of a texture right now, but that'll all disperse as the alcohol evaporates. It'll just leave these circles of dispersion. See those right there? For anybody out there that doesn't call it an Italian drip, get on with it. 
That's what it officially is. Also, I'm going to set you guys here for just one moment because I'm sticky and I want to get uh, that situated. Sticky. So I'm going to grab this sticky. Oh. Just wipe that right off. I'm trying to get unsticky while grabbing a sticky that. Thank you guys for sticking it out with me here while I'm getting unsticky. It's not a fun time to be resin sticky. Right. Awesome. I didn't lose anybody while I set you guys down. What is the river, may I ask? Oh, so that is actual body of water that we're going to go to. Because I didn't put my hair all the way up today. It's just kind of shapes. And so when we go to the river, I'll be able to rinse off all of the resin that I have on myself. Except for my hair. So I'll have to alcohol wash it out. Just a little bit. Otherwise, I have to use syrup, which is also okay. But so, yeah, we're going to go float the river, which is southern for a good time. Rhonda's tilting. That's how durable this foam is once you use the mesh. Hey, Shan, when you get a second, will you make sure that this isn't surface tension that is clear there, too? Thank you. Right? Italian drip. It's like, hey, but Rhonda's dripping alcohol and Micah's through the fingers when she does this. So we're patching that plastic because it came loose. And we're about to pull this tape that we have made a rim all the way around the outside. And so we're going to pull that and uh, allow the, the um, sorry, I got more sticky doing that. So we're going to pull tape. I know I just felt more sticky. There it is. Right. So we poured that first big board at 10 o'clock this morning. And so we just finished applying all of the resin to the rest of them. So it's now time to pull the tape. So when we pull this tape, it's like taping up a dam for the resin. But when we pull the tape, that'll allow all the epoxy to flow over this edge. But you want it to be stringy. I don't know if you can tell the stringy. See that? See how long the string that that is? That's about the the dumbness that you're looking for. Oops, that's too close. Okay, so I'll show you with our first resin that we mixed up, which would be this almond. Kim, thank you so much. So see how long of a string I can pull. With this epoxy, you want it at this consistency. In fact, we could run some really awesome veins with this because of its. Oh, yeah. You're messing up my clean table. Am I? Am I? I'll do better next time. Anyways, thank you so much, Kim, for the super chat tip. Every dollar that we bring in through the channel goes right back into the channel. So you can see that tape edge that we have. We're going to torch it, and it'll go right over that edge. See Mitch over there interrupting that surface tension. 
Evan, it is going to be wall panels. So this large one is going up on this wall. This one that has just a little bit more of that champagne pearly color is going on this side wall. This one is going on this wall. And that skinny one is going on this wall. Thank you guys so much for watching, seeing what we're up to, contributing, hanging out. It means so much to us. It means I'm going to get to afford regular epoxy shoes one day. Yeah, it's super gummy. I don't know if I'm getting out of your way or in your way. A little bit of both. Yummy. All right, you guys. My phone's about to die, and that is all the epoxy application we're going to do today. However, we'll be back live when we do the UTC, which is going to be a whole mood by itself. Um... I won't be here when they actually put the walls up. Is the long one a 10 by 4? No, it's bigger than that. Mitch is over 6 feet tall. Kenny, how many feet is this? It's 15 feet by 8 feet. Thank you so much, Donna. I hope you guys have an awesome day or evening, whatever it is. Um, if we're not here for when they put them up on the walls, you can watch it on RK3 Designs, YouTube, or StoneCoatCountertops.com, YouTube. But we'll try to have a video up for you guys as well. Anyways. You guys be kind to one another. You never know what someone's going through. And always remember that we do the test so you don't have to. See you guys later. Bye. You say bye, Bobo. You say bye.